I grew up Orthodox. My parents are still Orthodox. I grew up in it. And when I, growing up, I never heard any preaching against them. You know, they were always regarded as better than the Catholic Church. They're not that bad. But a little history on the, on the Orthodox Church is they were part of the Catholic Church. Up until the year 1054 AD, they broke off from the Catholic Church. Um, it's called the Great Schism, the East and West Schism, they call it. But before that, they all had the same pope, they were all united, they had the same traditions, the same practices, it was the same religion, they all believed in the same false gospel, they had the same false Bible, they were all under one church, one pope, and then they broke off. And that's why they're very similar to the Catholic Church. They got the same sacraments, the same communion, they, they dress the same, they're just like the Catholic Church. But you don't hear a lot about them. You know, you hear a lot about the Catholic Church, and people rip, you know, especially Baptists, rip on the Catholic Church, and the priests, and the popes, and all that, but you don't hear anything on the Orthodox Church. But uh, the Orthodox Church has 350 million uh, people that, that are in that church. So that's a lot of people. 350 million is a lot of people. And um, it's broken up into two uh, groups. You got the Eastern Orthodox and you have the Oriental Orthodox. And the Eastern Orthodox are 270 million. So you got the Russian Orthodox, the Greek Orthodox, the Romanian, the Polish. Those are all part of the Eastern Orthodox. And then you have the Oriental Orthodox. Those are the, from Egypt, from Armenia, the Syrian, the Ethiopian, those make up 85 million. So roughly all together you have 350 million people that follow the Orthodox religion. And Orthodox, the word Orthodox uh, means, ortho means truth, and dox means faith or religion. So they, they call themselves the true faith or the true religion. And they'll even say that they're the one true church and that the Catholic Church is a false you know, break off of them and that they claim to be the true church. But uh, some false doctrines, just, I'm going to read off a list of false doctrines they believe in the Orthodox Church. They believe in works-based salvation. They believe that the sacraments are required for salvation. They believe in the Eucharist, that it's literally the blood and the body of Jesus Christ. They believe in the priest call themselves father. They believe in infant baptism. They believe in baptismal regeneration. So they believe the moment you get baptized, if you're born Orthodox, you get baptized as a baby. But if, 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 if you convert later on in life and you get baptized, all your sins are forgiven up until that point. So once you get baptized, all your past sins are forgiven up until you get baptized. Baptism and regeneration. They believe in unbroken apostolic succession. So like growing up in Orthodox, I was told that our church uh, started by Mark, you know, the guy that wrote the Gospel of Mark, that he came to Egypt and he started the Orthodox Church. That's what I was told growing up. And, and, and they'll have a line going back to Mark. And they believe in a universal church. They said that the Orthodox Church is the one true church. They reject scripture alone. I mean, they, they come out and say they reject that. They say that the traditions are equal with the scripture. It is wicked. They reject eternal security. They reject salvation by faith alone. 